Tommy Dreamer did not win the Impact title on their show tonight. Well, I, nobody expected that he would. I mean, but um, yes, fifty. Tommy Dreamer turned 50 tonight. That's right, 50 years old. Chris, Chris Bay turned 25 on the same show. They would were building that up as well. And somebody else, Nicola, Nicola Roberts turned whatever she turned. I don't even know the number. I know it was her birthday today. Oh, man, what a day. So, yeah, we had that, and then Private Party did not win the tag team titles. They did a three-way for the belts on the show, and I guess at the end it was uh, was a finish. Um, Private Party had the cover. Mark Mark Quinn, I think, did a 450 or shooting star on, I didn't see it, on James Storm, and then Anderson blind tagged in and stole the pin. So that's how they, they won. So it keeps the private party, Anderson Gallows, angle alive um, without, you know, so they can go further with that. Matt Hardy furious because his 30% of the purse is significantly lower, I guess, since they didn't win. It's very well, he was supposed that. to guide them to the championship, and, and, it, and they got outswerved. That's right. And then TJP beat Rohit Raju to retain the X Division title. And uh, knockouts tag titles... Uh, Kier Hogan and Tasha Steeles beat Havoc and Nevia. Texas yeah. Tornado no DQ match to retain the titles. And then the opener, I guess for a uh, future title shot, Josh Alexander won a multi-person match. Chase Austin, Trace Miguel, a number of others as yeah, well. For, so. for a future X title match. So there you and, go. And and Juice Robinson, and the, the show ended with a video of Juice Robinson and David Finley coming to Impact, not Impact. AE, not AEW and not Ring of Honor, which is interesting. Um, New Japan's doing business with, you know, the 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 match from Wednesday, from um, the Kenta match on Wednesday night's Dynamite is on New Japan World now. Yeah. So um, they are, I mean, everyone's in business now, you know, and and it's all open, and Okada's coming at some point, somewhere. I don't know where, but I know he's coming, um, and. Well, it ain't going to pe- be an NXT. I'll tell you that much. Won't be. No, it's not going to be an NXT. I don't. I, and 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 other people are coming. You know. I mean, we may get. I don't know that. You know. Again, we may get Okada. I mean, um, Omega. Uh, we may get Omega with Okada or Omega with Ibushi. I don't know that we're getting it. I just know that it makes sense that we would be getting it. But the doors are open, and um, that's a good thing. I don't know. You know what? It's so weird how some people are like. Um, so negative about it. Why would you be negative about like the idea of Omega and Okada wrestling each other one more time, or, or Omega and Ibushi wrestling each Dave, other? Dave, who's negative about this? An I don't know. Egg I just, on Twitter? No, I mean, I, I see people all the time going like it's gonna, you know, New Japan fans who just think that like this is the New Japan so far above this that they shouldn't be working with these people, and how you remember like like that those guys left New Japan and that they, you know that they don't deserve to be worked with because of the way they left New Japan and that they took took a photo. This was so ridiculous. I was there when this happened. They took a photo in front of the Tokyo Dome and how disrespectful that was. That was fucking respectful. You know, that was to show because they when that photo was taken, they had a meeting set up and they were the ones who were blown off. You know, it's like, I don't know. There, there's... It's really weird because, again, like I was there, I was there that week talking to both sides. I was like in the fucking middle of this. And I will tell you that there was one side that did not want to do business and the other side thought they were going to do business with them. And the one side just treated them like they were, you know, like, uh, you know, we don't care about anybody, but, but, but Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, you know what I mean? We care about Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, but the Young Bucks, eh, they're not that big of stars. And it's like, fuck, that's the reason you guys were strong in the United States to begin with was, you know, not just the Young Bucks, that they were not the only reason, but they were a key reason. And they were certainly the reason for the merchandise selling and um, to just kind of like, and they wanted, you know, those guys wanted to work there. They wanted to work the big shows. That's what they thought they were going to do. And, you know, the the idea that all this stuff was just, I mean, yes, they were, um, they did sign after this, they did sign Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor away, 
that New Japan, you know, I mean, I don't think New Japan was that high on Chuck Taylor, but they absolutely were on Trent Barretta. It's not like, you know, but they were going to use them both as a regular team. And, you know, there's other things that happened. And, you know, they did try to, you know, talk to everyone, you know, whether it was Juice or Jay White or whatever, because they wanted the best roster they could get. Um, I mean, you know, I can see, I can see, you know, both sides of the story. But when all was said and done, the misjudgment. And again, and they also did have to deal with Ring of Honor for, for Madison Square Garden, so that made things tough. But there were still better ways that you could handle it. And but it's it's you know, it's the door. The forbidden door is now open, and and we're gonna get you know. Hopefully, we don't get too much of it at once because then it won't be that good. But at certain points, uh, it would be very good to have um, different things. And unfortunately, you know, it's great, but we're not going to get a lot of it because, you know, right now because of the, the the quarantine measures, it's 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 tough. When when this pandemic is over, you know, and people can we can tra freely travel back and forth. That's when we'll be get we'll be able to get every dream match that that um, they think that th would will, will sell. Um, and they think we'll be good. We will, we, it, it will be open to getting. That's not saying we're going to get every one of them, but we're going to get a lot of them. But we're not going to be able to get a lot of them right now, um, just because of the, the travel restrictions. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.